Well, Nadia, it's true that although the Prime Minister Jean-Marc Ayrault did uh, uh, give that very direct and stern warning to his ministers, it's perhaps not as risky a move as it sounds, because most of the cabinet members uh, who are running in these elections are actually have been consistently re-elected time after time, and they don't stand a chance of losing, and their re-election is a foregone conclusion. So the interior ministers, for instance, the foreign affairs ministers, uh, they're, they're not going anywhere. There's really nothing to worry about uh, for them. Uh, some of the ministers now, knowing that there was a risk that they might not be able to stay in cabinet if they weren't re-elected, chose not to run in these elections uh, at all. And finally, we have about a handful of ministers, but not the biggest names in the cabinet by any stretch of the imagination, who are indeed facing a difficult re-election. Uh, a lot of talk, for instance, about the culture minister, Aurélie Philippetti, um, the polls are predicting a very narrow victory in her constituency. So it is possible tonight that if there is bad news for her or after the second round next week, that she might not make the cut in the next cabinet. OK, and beyond the government, Cyril, the broader question here is how much the socialists will have to contend with other left-wing parties to govern. What do we know of the balance of power there? That's, that's really what's at stake here in this election, Nadia. Uh, the socialists and the president in particular, François Hollande, will know after this evening and definitively after uh, the second round of the election next week just how much freedom he has, how much uh, uh, margin for maneuver he will have over the course of his term to carry out his political platform and implement his laws. Of course, what the socialists are hoping for, best case scenario for them, is that they could win an absolute majority that's to say, have 289 seats at least in this 577-seat uh, National Assembly. Uh, in that case, they won't need to answer to anybody. Socialists will be able to govern as they wish. However, that's not the most likely outcome. Most likely outcome is they're going to have to form a ruling coalition with the Green Party, the environmentalists. And this is what's on the cards. They've already uh, passed a, a um, political agreement um, this, however, wouldn't be uh, too serious for the socialists, too much cause for concern. They've seen this coming. They already have a political agreement, and they're prepared for this. What they're afraid of, on the other hand, is if uh, they have to rule with the far left wing in Parliament, and then they would have to discuss every single little law before passing it. 